Welcome back to Cigar Time. Great to be back. Great to be, yes. great to be back. It's always great to be back. Uh, this is we, your. We, aren't we the friendly? No, I was going to say, we, you're stealing my thunder. Oh. The wonderful show all about premium cigars and your enjoyment of them. Your local neighborhood stores that you can go to and enjoy premium That's cigars. true. That's true. We're lucky enough to have Tim back for a second week. My and, pleasure. And as always, it's a, it's a treat to have Tim on the panel and Tim on the show. Mm -hmm. uh, Tim's the big honcho for, their, for out of this, uh, their key account uh, director, right? Did I get Direc it right? Director of key accounts, yes. Did we give you a promotion there? I mean, um, from last week's show, yeah, you did. Now you're like mid six figures? And I'm um, <laughs> still way below six figures, dude. Well, it's better than hourly, right? Better than hourly. Better than better hourly. Than hourly. And you've been with the company now for how many decades? Mm. Going into my 28th year. 28? Wow. Nice. Yeah, 19, uh, 1993. I'm sorry, 94. Yeah. And I've known you for a great part of that. Yeah, I met you in 96, 97. Yeah, yeah something 96. like that. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Catching up to Dan Maggers. Yeah. He's 30 some years. Well, yeah. Dan, well, well see, he was one company. Well, I'm a one company. Yeah, he's he was with Jim. That's true. That's true. Yeah, I mean, it, like tobacco totally is over 30. Yeah. Because I worked for Cools. Cool. Yeah. Cools. Yeah. yeah. But I knew Dan, I knew Dan when he worked for um, General. 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 Yeah. Yeah. General. yeah. yeah. Yeah, I remember mm -hmm. when he first came into the the first store in Vineland, mm -hmm. him and Mike McGill, and oh, wow. well, a lot of people that are no longer with us. That's but I'm true. Glad, I'm glad that you and Dan are still with us. I haven't seen Dan in a while. Yeah, we, 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 we see him all the time. I don't think his wife lets him know much after work. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Scratch that. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm kidding. He's still Dan. I mean, yeah. you know, the amazing thing, and I know we'll get to the show in a minute, the amazing thing, you, you, you take a look at you, Dan, uh, people like Jorge Padron, you don't age. Yeah, thank you. you know, I remember you guys back in the 90s. You all look the same, maybe a little gray in the hair, maybe a little less hair, but basically, Dan looks the same, you look the same. You know, I mean, uh, and people like Padron looks the same. It, it, it is kind of, you know. I, I actually think I look younger now than I did when I was in my 30s, besides the hair. Maybe? <laughs> really? Because <laughs> my face is a lot thinner, yeah, for sure. Oh, you lost, you lost weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. So, uh, see, smoking cigars. That's right. Longevity. I, 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 I guess we can't say we'll make you look younger, <laughs> or in my case, better. But you the know, cigar system of health. I say. I it gave all you a line. You guys didn't even seize upon it. No, I'm gonna tell you this. And I had this conversation with um, some people. Um, so, if you look at all the people that have smoked, like, all right. Zeno Davila, 100. Yeah. All right, Ramon Cifuente is uh, 90s. Yeah. Um, Mr. Padron, yeah. high 80s. Uh, Stanford Newman. Stanford Newman. Newman. 90s. Yeah, I forgot yeah. about him. Yeah, Stanford yeah. Newman, yeah. You know, uh, you know Benji's 85. You yeah, know, um, and still going. You know, um, yeah, everybody's been around, you know, yeah. for a long time. I've George always Burns. made the, uh, the argument. George Burns, yeah. Yeah, well, I met him when he was 97 or 98. Really? Wow. Pretty cool guy. I'll tell you that story later. But... Interesting. I've always made the argument that smoking a premium cigar and enjoying it is a stress reliever. And at sure. the end of the day, stress is what gets us all. In the end, it mm -hmm. causes mostly any malady that we have. So, again, I can't tell you from a health standpoint, but I can tell you that the people I know who smoke a lot of cigars are pretty healthy people. Sure. Like uh, what's his name? Clint Eastwood smokes cigars. He's yeah. in his nineties. He's in his nineties. Yeah, forget about him. Forget yeah, about I started him. smoking it's these things when I was fifteen. Wow. It's the cigar system of health, and I tell people this all the <laughs> yeah. time. If you smoke enough cigars every day, yeah, your body becomes a hostile environment, and no germs will no. grow on you no, no matter what. <laughs> so you <laughs> never get sick. Oh my God! The only problem <laughs> is <laughs> you should have told if you that. smoke that <laughs> many cigars a day. It also, it doesn't just repel germs, it repels your wife. That's the <laughs> only problem. <laughs> oh, don't go there. But oh. that takes 10 or 12 cigars well, I, a I day. Well, I think y'all know my situation, so I'm not going to bring <laughs> that up. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the crowd. Yeah, welcome to the crowd. Yeah, yeah, this, is, this is a rough crowd. <laughs> no, I've been, smoking, I've been smoking these things for 59 years. That's funny. 59 years. I started out, you know, you remember Yona McDonald downtown, 15th yeah. and Chestnut Street? Sure. I mean, I, it, I was buying, I remember it was after the embargo, but they were allowed to sell off their Cuban stock. Cuban stock, right. Buying, you know, 40 cent 
uh, up in Coronas. Wow. Speaking of, we, last week we did a show on Upton. New York, yeah. And, 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 you know, gravitated to, you know, higher end premium cigars once you couldn't get mm -hmm. Cubans anymore. And it, it just, again, uh, I don't want to hold myself out as the poster child for, you know, <laughs> healthy, healthy living in cigars, but, you know, I guess the fact that uh, I can at least state the facts. Yeah. And true. the facts are, most of the people in our business, the old timers, are, you know, dying at the desk at 93 with cigars in their pocket. Yeah. And one burning in the ashtray. And one in their mouth. And one in their mouth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and hopefully not burn the place down. So when I, I always tell people when I go light one up for me, we'll put one in the cuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you never know. know. You might. You're, you might. Yeah. yeah. You know. I, I take a whole box. You take a whole box. Yeah. <laughs> I, I get a good deal for you. you know, Speaking oh. of which, can we light up? Yeah. 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 Start with. <laughs> he's I'm, he's I'm getting, getting antsy. You can't hold he's him back. You know, it's funny. Is it? Whenever it's certain people that I, in the industry that I talk to, and in these two are one. Like I get, I get giddy when they get one. You know, we start talking. You know, and about cigars. You know, just about family, whatever. You know, and then it's like next thing you know, it's an hour later. You know, so. That's the relationship that you know we've developed over the years with each other. But that's the whole purpose of enjoying a premium cigar. No the camaraderie, the conversation, sometimes business is done. I mean, it, it's all good. I can't think of any negatives. Nope. I mean, there would be naysayers that say, if you smoke a cigar, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, the empirical facts are that's not true. Very true. It's not true. There's still, I believe, not many, it used to be a lot of them, that if you're an occasional cigar smoker, you won't get a rated life insurance policy. And, and you know, I know about nobody that. pinches penny better than the life insurance company. Yeah. If, if there was any, you know, any real downside to smoking cigars, they, they wouldn't give you a policy that wasn't rated. No, that's true. And let's talk about the brands. Yeah. So, guys, be on the lookout for uh, this cigar now. It has in store. This was released uh, last June, July. Came out. Uh, really did a great job. Got some high ratings in uh, some of the magazines. Uh, got a really high rating, I believe, in the, um, uh, mag it's a trade magazine that we do, um, P&K does it. Mm -hmm. The, um, I can't remember, the Tobacconist magazine. Not Tobacconist, I'm sorry. Uh, tobacco, business. Tobacco, tobacco Business. business. Yeah. Yeah. Tobacco Business got a really good rating. Um, so, everyone knows Romeo Rios, number one, one of the yeah, top yeah, five, ten yeah. selling cigars in the United States. What AJ and Raphael did with this was amazing. It's the Nicaraguan version of a real. I mean, basically, you know, they shifted it from Dominican, which uh, that's our number one, that's our bread and yeah. butter. They moved it over to, the Domin to Nicaragua, and uh, it sells very well for us, and it's been doing and performing very well with the ratings. Um, kind of like what they did with the 1875, when they did with Placencia, with the Nicaraguan and the Connecticut Nicaraguan. Same thing, they, it's a Romeo, and they took the blend and just shifted it over to Nicaragua. So I think they did a fantastic job in what they did. Beautiful I band. I think the wrapper makes all the difference That's in the beautiful world. Rapper in too. Cigar. Beautiful band, beautiful wrapper. What's the blend on this? The blend on this is um, it's a Nicaraguan Pearl. Okay. So um, it was um, the original. I think the original ones. I thought they went when you see it, look on them, when you look at it like you know on paper. I thought it was lighter. Um, but it actually, they came out just a little bit darker, mm -hmm. and but it's not it's not intimidating with string, you know. No, no. Is it a Habano wrap? Nicaraguan Habano? I think. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not I would have to. Sure ask does look like that, doesn't it? I would assume. Like I would. I would think so. <coughs> with, the, with the color and the sheen and the way it looks and the taste. Yeah. Even before I lit it, you get you get that little bit of pepper. Oh yeah. Just mm -hmm. out of the dry draw and. Even that was good. I almost hated that. But even it. like, you know, one of my, oh, you guys know Oliver, one of my colleagues. Ollie don't smoke strong cigars. But, um, oh, he, he does. He's, he's such tested. a wuss. <laughs> no. He's a wuss. But, um, but this is like one of his favorites. He has a nice accent. You know, he has a very nice accent. The girls <laughs> love him, even though he's married now. Oh, but, um, <laughs> but now, you know, I mean, I, 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 and the reason why I say him, because I know what he likes. We like some of the same things, but in, in the milder side. But he, he, he smokes these a lot, and he said, Tim, I they really enjoy these, you know. So I think we, I think we got a winner with this. Obviously, by the sales. I mean, let's face it, your company, you know, with its family of, of brands and blends, I mean, you cover the waterfront. You, you know, you go from A to Z practically. Yeah, and that's where, I, you know, when you look at um, the different things that we've done uh, leading into when Raphael joined us and him taking over um, uh, product development mm -hmm. and, uh, and marketing 
uh, later, a year later, years or later, um, you can see the success that we've had and the growth, not just in the Nicaraguan stuff, but in the Honduran stuff right. that we smoked last week, you know, uh, running with the Warhawk, you know, before, uh, year before last. So, and even just our regular stuff, you know, providing an uh, excellent standard of quality, you know, and, uh, and working with the existing factories, uh, along with planning new things uh, coming down the road, you know? Yeah, that, you're always willing to innovate. You're always willing to try new things, and, you know, most of them succeed. You know, once in a while there's a dud in there, but... Uh, yeah, we, I mean... Can't, I, you I can't hit a thousand every time. Everybody, I mean. everybody comes out with something that... Um, and the thing about it, I always look at things... Uh, Maybe it wasn't meant at that particular time. Yeah, yeah. You know. But the one thing, you know, and I don't think anybody on the panel would disagree with me, you make good cigars. Yeah. I mean, for the, you, you do. I mean, and you make them, again, Rob, put your fingers in your ears, you make them at reasonable price points. Sure. <laughs> Even with your collaborations, you make them at very reasonable price points. Yeah. Well, it's because they're No one can integrated. argue that. They're vertically integrated. Yeah. So... Well, but they can control. But they're not ver vertically integrated when they do collaborations. No, no. But they're doing it with people who are vertically. Yeah, who are vertically. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. like you know, so on the Dominican side, um, we buy a lot of our tobacco from uh, Mendez. Yeah. Um, where we did the uh, Jose Mendez and Chapman, and uh, the Pilotico tobacco that we've had in some of our cigars that you guys like, um, that was brought over by his grandfather Pepe Mendez. So he's one of our Dominican guys. We you know we buy product from Placencia. Mm. You know, we buy product from, um, you know, we use AJ tobacco, obviously, because right. we're using right. the cigars. Um, you know, we have a, they buy, you know, we buy, um, you know, a lot of tobacco from Oliva. Right. You know, the Oliva Tobacco Company. Yeah, Tampa, you know, Tampa, 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 Tampa Oliva. Tampa Oliva. We used to buy when we yeah. had to make the cigars ourselves. You know, so um, ASP, I mean, I think, they, I don't know if they still use all those people, but, you know, they, uh, they have a wide range. Um, you know, when, we, when I used to work with, uh, with Larry, you know, do things with Larry, you know, I went down with him a few Great times. Yeah. And uh, we another, was- Another chef. Another chef, yeah. yeah he yeah, and yeah. the wife are always- Yeah, <laughs> well, Larry, Larry, Larry will do it up. Larry's cool. You know, yeah, but yeah. you yeah. mentioned the price point the on this. The price point on this was uh, very well. So the price point is this, it's a Romeo price point, so you're looking at, again, probably eight to nine, nine and a quarter, maybe, you know, that, it depends on the, the size. That's the sweet spot. Yes. Yeah, Nowadays, that's the sweet spot. Mm -hmm. I'm still trying to get used to that, but it's the sweet spot. This cigar makes me think of an interesting thing about Romeo and Juliet as a line. Okay. No matter what you like, you like really mild and creamy, if you like full-bodied, mm -hmm. if you like peppery, no matter what you like, you could go through the Romeo portfolio and never smoke anything else. No. And yeah. still satisfy right. all those different points. Yeah. That is true. That's true, because I'm a heavy smoker, and one of my, f I, I thought this this is, um, first time I smoked this, I thought it was like, I, I was like, eh, it's gonna be okay, you know. I mean, I love the packaging and everything, but I had never smoked it. I had never smoked it because, you know, because of the, uh, what happened last year with the yeah. COVID. So when I got it, I was like, you know, I mean, we got, you know, we got the cool shirts, you know, everything is blue. Yeah, yeah, I see. You got a little yeah. pants. I'm jealous. Little speaker. I, they never sent anything else. I only got this one. So, but I'll see what I got. I know somebody. But, um. <laughs> um I would hope you no, know somebody. I'm totally <laughs> kidding. But, um, yeah, and when I lit it up, man, I was like, you know, I didn't know what to expect, you know? And I was like, because I know they had made the, like I said, the other stuff. Yeah. And, but, you know, I mean, hey, you know, AJ's name is legendary already. So it was really good. I was really surprised. It was definitely. You know, something that I, you know, w could pick up every day. But I smoke heavy in the day and then go down at night. You know, so I, I tried it early in the morning. I was like, oh, man, this is a really good cigar, you know? Yep. First impressions? <sighs> First impressions. Not Honduran. It's not Honduran. It's <laughs> my favorite tobacco. It's Nicaraguan. This is a fantastic cigar. Uh, <sighs> When I first lit it, I got a, a, a taste of cocoa. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not chocolate, but cocoa. cocoa. And I'm still getting that taste. I'm, mm -hmm. getting, I'm getting a white pepper as opposed to last week where I got the black pepper. And it's also creamy, creamy to coat my tongue and my palate. Um, it's a complex cigar, in my opinion. It's very, I can't say enough about this cigar. It's it's a mild cigar, but it's not as mild as the Reserve yeah, Real. Yeah, I don't think it is. It's yeah. and it, but it's not medium either. No. It's I don't know where to describe it. It's not mild, 
but it's not medium. It's very it's, smokable. It's so super it's complex that yeah. you get some really strong notes and some really mild creamy notes. Yes, it's it's very interesting. And Take your tongue I and, and just look it across your, the back of your top teeth. Very interesting sweet finish. Mm. Okay. I know it sounds sexy, but... <laughs> No. Well, the way Rob describes the glass sounds sexy. I'm getting get all tingly. It's <laughs> I can't say that. My ears, are, my ears are good. That's <laughs> how you describe it. But yeah, uh, the, the biggest taste I get is the, is the cocoa mm -hmm. and, and, the, and the white pepper from this. So, And the creaminess. Well, it doesn't bother me at all to agree with you. Yeah. Unlike some well, people like that Scott. appear on this show. Scott, never um, <laughs> yeah. However, are, are you referring to someone who's not here today? Yeah. Yes, I am. Oh, I got it. Yeah. So is he in exile or is he like... No, he's in Vegas. No, he's, he's in, in Vegas. Vegas. Oh, he's in Vegas. I'll see the, him tomorrow. The, you know, the interesting... Lucky you. The interesting yeah. part, of, when, I, when he wasn't here, I thought, did you ever see The Matrix? When they put... Remember when Keanu Reeves was exiled and they couldn't get him out? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I love you, Scott. I'm only kidding. <laughs> Remember who signs the checks. I am very surprised <laughs> because f if, if I smoke this with my eyes closed, I might think that it had a Cameroon wrapper on okay. it. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. Because of that white pepper. Yeah. yeah. Th there's creaminess and all that from the filler. Yes. But the white pepper from the wrapper just really stands out in a, in a super good way. Hence I the black pepper versus the white pepper from last week. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. Interesting. As for me, who are you smiling about? Because you always say that. As for me. As for me. I can't add too much to what's already been said. No, no, I can add some. <laughs> I can add some. Chances are. Chances are. <laughs> Great song. You know, the amazing thing, more babies have been born listening to his music. Yeah. And, and we all know his lifestyle and everything. Yeah. I, won't, I won't get into it. You won't get into it, but, yeah. but we all know. I have to say this. Uh -oh. Often when we review a cigar, we can be pretty effusive about the quality and the taste and everything. And every once in a while, we'll, we'll hit one that maybe isn't. But uh, you got to recognize, again, we smoke them. All the samples, all the uh -huh. you know cigar companies sure. would come in here, bring us stuff. So when you see a cigar on this panel being smoked and being enjoyed, and being talked about in a very good way and given a decent rating and all that stuff, it's because, yeah, we're not going to smoke what we used to call, you can say it in Spanish, dog rockets. <laughs> <laughs> we tend to smoke cigars <laughs> that we want you to be able to enjoy. So we're not going to sit here and smoke some, again, dog rocket, right. which we wouldn't say wonderful things about. So it's not that we get carried away with every cigar, because everybody's tastes are different. Very much so. And, and, and we would never try to just, you know, present a cigar on this panel and say things about it just as an inducement to try to sell it. Sure, we need to sell cigars to remain in business after 26 years, but what we say on this panel cannot be bought. That's true. That's Tim knows fact. that. No, that's very true. That's one, that's one thing, like, you know, um, I, I know, you know, this is coming from last year with the cigar, but one person I was interested to know about their, what they like the cigar and not was him. With Rob because, not Scott. He's a tough but, player. But uh, with Rob because I know he smokes Real, the regular, the, yeah. the, the uh, Dominican right. version. So I thought that would be an interesting, per you're an interesting person and I thought that would, I w I've always waited to hear what you would think of that cigar. Because yeah. I wasn't going to, when we were looking at something to do for the month, I was trying to figure like, you know, oh yeah, let's do all new stuff. But then I remembered that we hadn't done this yeah. because of what happened last year. Uh, God rest everybody's soul. Yeah. And, um, but you were an interesting person I w that I, I wanted to try and hear your, your uh, response. The person yeah. Did you describe this as more mild? It, it's in between it's mild and medium, yeah, but it's not me mild it's medium, because I don't, I don't get a medium taste or feeling uh, at, at all. It's not medium, but it's not mild either. Okay. Do you agree with that? I don't think it is. Even though it's Nicaraguan, it's the mildest Nicaraguan cigar I've ever had. Wow. What do you say about that? I say that it's a mild, creamy cigar with a peppery wrapper on it, okay. <laughs> <laughs> which is a wonderful thing. Yeah. What do you think? Do you think it's medium or... 
It's all. It's hard. It's really. I'll be honest. It's hard to discern. I mean, it's to me. You know, it's not. You know, a Connecticut with a very light taste and and no back of the throat burn. It's not that, but it also is not the back of the throat burn and, and it, this heavy density. Right. So I almost have to agree with you. Oh God, that that you know. <laughs> it, it, to me, it's mild, medium, but I would put it more on the medium than the mild. Okay. How's that? That's fair. You disagree? I, yeah, I don't. I don't find it medium. Well, that's at why all. they make vanilla and chocolate yeah. and tutti frutti. You know, it's interesting. It's all subjective. It's very yes. subjective. And yeah. people well, out there, yeah. they when they smoke it, they could, it could be full body to them. You know, one day we'll have yeah. to do, and I have we're gonna get them all together. But if we did the, uh, the Romeo 1875 Nicaraguan Placencia, yeah. yeah, but and then the Connecticut Nicaraguan 1875. And then run them, you know, let me only smoke a little bit of it. But you'll, you'll see the differences. And then yeah. when you get to this, this is a mild, medium cigar. Like you said, okay. it's not, and I agree 100% with you yeah. on that aspect. It certainly doesn't lack flavor. No, no, mm. not at all. And at the end of the day, as I always have said on this panel, taste is what it's all about. That's exactly right. I take taste mm. overpowering. You know, yeah, I mean, you know, if you want something to burn the back of your throat and, and, and spin your head around, I mean, that to me is not an enjoyable way of no. having a cigar. Yeah, no, 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 no. Taste. Taste. I mean, is taste you know, yeah, more taste. very than smokable than and tasty. The retrohale yeah. is tremendous. Yes, it is. Yeah, you wouldn't take a milkshake and put a ton of cayenne pepper into it. <laughs> because you want that nice sweet taste of the milkshake. Correct. You don't want a milkshake right. that's sweet with, with a heavy dose of hot pepper. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. That's a really good point. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it's this a, does get a sweet finish yeah, yes. once, that you, get, the, that once you get yeah. into it. The tongue on the teeth. I mean, I get that. And it does coat your tongue very nicely. It does. Hey, guys, don't forget about the Alts of the Special. We're going to be running probably August, September. Um, what we'll be doing, we'll be giving away a um, kind of like a, I don't want to use the term mini green egg, because that's actually somebody's product. But well, we a, need three people to carry it in. It's yeah, not a mini. <laughs> yeah, but we're going to be giving away a, a, a Monte Cristo grill that's green egg type style. And um, I think you guys will like it very much to, to try to get a chance to win this. Wow. I think they're so heavy because they're ceramic. Uh, mm -hmm. So it's like real stuff. Yeah, this, this, this is not really that big. I'm telling you, it's only like from the table, it might be this tall maybe. Mm -hmm. But it's heavy. But, but it's, man, I mean like. It's heavy. put together. Because it holds, well, it's the, the actual body of it is really heavy because it's designed to hold a lot of heat. It's mm. not for fast cooking. Yeah, and this one's it's electric. It's for low and slow. This one's electric. Oh, all right. And um, yeah, and I, uh, I was, I did one earlier this year at, at you know another customer in Northeast PA, and um, I had never moved one, right? And I just went to, I've seen them, you know, and they had, to sit, and I was trying to move it out the way. I was like, I don't think I can. Yeah, yeah. Thing. You <laughs> got a hernia. <laughs> yeah, like, you got a hernia lift. I mean, I'm not, I'm not weak at all, you know, but I'm like. Hey, this thing's a little heavy, you know. So I think you know. I think you guys will be um, excited about it, you know, for sure. Well, we've done some great promotions. I mean, you know, yeah. we'll put it in wherever stores that uh, up here. I guess mostly in Pennsylvania, our one store in New mm -hmm. Jersey. But we got to design some stuff for Florida. You know, sun umbrellas, sun. What do you call it? The suntan oil or something. Well, yeah, didn't we? Um, it, I, but I thought we were doing a promotion in Florida, the, the Monte Cristo one. Probably are. Okay. Shows you what I know. <laughs> it's only your company. Yeah, it's only, it's only well, your yeah, company. Well, yeah, I, 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 can't, I can't be everywhere every second, every day. For the first time in 26 years, we opened a store in Florida, the second store, which opened up May 1st that has the beer and wine in it. Right. We opened a store where, yeah, I saw it raw. I, you know, I negotiated the deal and, right. and made the deal. But then the last time I saw it, it was just one big mass of concrete. Mm -hmm. So we built a store. Build it out, stocked it, opened it without one one bit of anything from me. Mm -hmm. I mean, other than advice and counsel right. and, 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 and money. money. And money. money. Well, I, well, I didn't <laughs> want to bring that up. Well, it, it, well, it shouldn't always be about money. Well, shout out, shout out to the guy you got working down there. Cause, you yeah, know, George, George, George and his shout team, out to George, Jim yeah. and Mark, they do a great job. They lived through that recent hurricane. And I mean, uh, and the story, it, remember, this is the off season down there. Yeah, true. And these stores, even the first store, which has been open almost a year and a half, they have never seen a season because of COVID. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to October, November, when the tourists come back sure. from the Midwest and from Canada, which we've not had. 
I'm, I'm really, really anxious to see how the store does. I think it's well stocked. Well, yeah, I think it'll do well. I, well, I'm pretty sure I know it'll do well. We have two great locations and more coming. Our original concept was to have five open by the end of this, actually, yeah, at the end of this year. Oh, That's no. not going to happen. COVID did away with that. But we're very optimistic that our footprint in Florida will just grow, and we see a lot of growth potential down there. Yeah, I mean, hey, go come here. If you live up here, go visit the store. And they do. Florida. When yeah. I was down there, when I was stuck down there for the three months at the beginning of COVID, uh, I was amazed, considering nobody was really traveling, I was amazed how many people walked in the store and said, hey, I watch you on television. I <laughs> shop in your this store, you're that store up yeah. here. I'm saying, holy mackerel. Yes. But that was great. All right, well, I guess it's, it's, we could keep yakking and yakking, which I enjoy. I love the repartee, but it's time to give our, I guess, final <coughs> review. It stayed consistent uh, with all the s same flavors uh, that it started out with. Um, I'm getting a, a, a good cocoa-y taste, again, through the retro hail. It, the retro hail is really good on this. I can mm -hmm. retro hail the cigar all day long. The whole thing. Yeah, yeah. The, whole, the whole cigar. Um, I give it a 975. Wow. It is a yeah. really, really good cigar. Uh, yeah. 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 He's a tough gravy. He's we all know he's, he's a tough gravy. He's a tough cookie. So. That means Scott would have given it an 11. <laughs> Scott would have gave it, I don't know. Don't even think. He would ag agree with me. Well, yeah, that's what you, I'm going to do. You live for that. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to agree with Rob and say that it's very consistent with the exact same set of flavors, but it's a great set of flavors. Yeah. yeah. You know, you got you don't want cocoa, them to go away. white pepper, and cream, mm -hmm. and tobacco. What could you possibly ask for other than that? And once again, in the, in the Altadis way, the construction is beautiful. Yep. And I give it a 975 also. Jeez. Thank you. This is really going in the right direction. I like this a lot. It's, it's hey, you know something? The pepper really hasn't greatness. gone south on this. No. The little bit of... We, it just stayed right there. Yeah, yeah, it stayed right there. The creaminess, the cocoa flavor. This is a great cigar. I thought we smoked a real winner last week. Yeah, yeah. And it was, in my taste. It was great. This is very similar, very comparable in quality and construction, burn, draw. I mean, I can't argue with you. 975 all around. Jamie That's a home run. run. <laughs> no, you could no, give it a ten. Yeah. No, no. I mean, um, look. All I can say is this. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I mean, I, I, you know, I'm always posting stuff and stuff and drinking stuff. But I can tell you this. I see those pictures too. Life is life is a celebration, and this yeah. is a great cigar to uh, celebrate, celebrate life. life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. You know, I mean, after what happened last year, yeah. you know, I mean, you guys made it through, and I'm glad to see all you guys. Uh, yeah, it's great to smoke with you guys and have this great cigar that we're doing today. And again, it's the the Romeo Nicaragua. Romeo cigar. Real Nicaragua. Real Nicaragua, mm -hmm. right. And we're all thankful for you for supporting us yes. in these hard times that are now we're just finally coming out of. So I just want to remind you, right after this show, is Cigar Time Outlet Show. We have the entire block between 7 and 8 every Wednesday night. Check your cable, Channel 4 over the air. And we want to thank you, thank you, thank you for your patronage. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye for, for now. Ciao for now, everybody.